What's up guys, welcome back to Noper Dope Reviews. I'm Steven, Jen's driving in the car over here. We just got out of watching an early screening of Blumhouse's new horror flick, Night Swim. I had a chance to watch the trailer, didn't do a reaction. Don't recall if it even was just on YouTube or uh, seeing it in the theater, but I thought the concept was interesting. We have a pool, uh, how scary can a pool be? Uh, definitely could be scary, the drowning aspect of it, but how can they make a full-on horror flick out of this movie or out of this concept? And honestly, the movie uh, just didn't do it for me. Uh, th there are some good things. I'm going to talk about that first. And this is just going to be an out-of-the-theater reaction, not a full-on review, which I believe the embargo is tomorrow around the afternoon, which is weird to have the embargo release the same day as the movie. I don't know if uh, Universal and Blumhouse were maybe not as confident in this movie that they're releasing the embargo the same day the movie releases, but there was a lot of people in the theater that seemed to be enjoying the movie. Um, I think the one aspect of this movie I really liked was the actors and the family dynamic. And I think if you buy the family, if you enjoy the family, um, I think you might enjoy this movie because it really involves them. And the first half of the movie is really about getting to know the family. Wyatt Russell plays the main character, the father in this movie. And I thought he did pretty good. And, and the wife, I don't know, the actress and the two kids did well uh, in this movie. But for me, I think it just took a little bit too long to get to any sort of scary moments in this movie. To me, it was more suspenseful, more of a mystery about what the heck is going on in this movie with the pool. Why are things happening? Um, again, it took very long for it to actually be scary. Um, you'd expect a little bit more or a lot more jump scares in this movie, which I'm not necessarily a jump scare guy, but if you're gonna have something in this movie, especially early on in the middle part of the movie, give me some jump scares. But uh, most of this movie was just the mystery about what the heck is going on in the pool. And you finally get to that at the end. And I started to feel it ramp up. I started to get really interested in the story, but for me, it just took too long to get there. And then when it finally did get there, it just wasn't as satisfying. But give it up to Blumhouse for um, doing something unique, something different, because like I said at the beginning, uh, I think the concept of having a horror film uh, just about essentially a pool, I'm not gonna go into details or spoilers about um, the pool itself and why it's haunted or scary, but uh, it just took a while to get to the scary parts. There were a couple of like tense moments. I mean, uh, I think a lot of people's fears are drowning in a pool and uh, you're right, no? <laughs> I think there are there are definitely fears. Jen says no, but uh, yeah, for me, uh, it is unique. I, I think you can go ahead and give it a shot, but if I would have to say if it's an Oprah dope, it's a note for me. Uh, Jen, disagrees with me. I, it's a dope for me. <laughs> and I think if you were a little kid and you had a pool, growing up as a little kid, you were afraid of that pool. You were afraid of the deep end. You either, and especially in Florida, for some reason, you either thought there was a shark down there or there was a monster down there. So you, you never knew what was down there. And I'm okay. talking like that was, yes. But I liked everything. I think there was the right amount of jump scares. I liked the storyline. I liked everything. I didn't think it went too slow. So it's a dope. All right. Should we disagree on that. Um, yeah, I, I think it's it's definitely okay. Is it worth watching just for the just for it being a different type of horror movie? I think yes, you, you could definitely watch it. Uh, but for me, not the most scary movie I've seen. It's better than Exorcist Believer, that's for sure. Uh, you saw my review on that. That was one of the worst horror movies I've seen in a long time. Very disappointing. So give it up for Blumhouse for doing something different. They always try something unique. Same producers that did Megan. That was that was unique. That's and definitely... The what's that? The, the Nun, yeah. None one was good. None two, not so hot. But yeah, so it comes out uh, in a couple... Or tomorrow um, on Thursday. But it's definitely... Uh, something unique 
something that uh, I'm glad they attempted. It just didn't work for me in the end. So let me know in the comments if you've had a chance to see it early as well. If you're watching this after the movie comes out to everyone, let me know if you thought it was no or dope. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. We'll check out later. Peace.